know they're saying this is gonna be the biggest storm that ever hit the East Coast. It's gonna be hurricane strength in an hour. Compass point your home. Why'd you wait so long before you said yes to going out on a date? I just didn't know if you'd be attracted to me. You know exactly how I pictured you. Yeah? Better. <laughs> if we make it out alive from the dead. <laughs> What's this on the radio? Ship breaking up. She's a T2 tanker, split right in half. We got maybe two, three hours, and then we sink. I'm always curious about memorable moments from filming. Is there a day or two that you guys are always going to remember from the making of this? <clears throat> For me, it would probably be meeting, uh, I had a really actor moment of coming off the boat and it was very cold, and, uh, and being really angry at our first AD because he hadn't given us a break in a long time. And then right as I was about to get into it, I look over and I saw Andy Fitzgerald, who was one of the gentlemen who was on the boat. And Andy's 80-something years old, and he's there with Mel Guthrow, who's Bernie's best friend from, who was sick and didn't go out that day, but knew Bernie and the rest of the team. And we got a chance to sit and talk with them, and um, it just became very clear that this actually happened, that these guys actually went out that night on a wooden boat in those seas, zero visibility, no compass, and they were, you know, they were inches away from death for hours. So um, it made me shut up very, very quickly. <laughs> I remember Ruth from Blast Junket. He likes to uh, divert. <laughs> I'm just going to tease you. Uh, one of the things I really like about this movie is that it's like an old school Hollywood film with crazy effing visual effects. Mm. You know, it's like modern day mixed with old school Hollywood. Uh, could you sort of talk about that a little bit? Did you take that away from... The, the film as well? Yeah, I, I w would agree. Uh, and Chris and I have spoken a bit about this. It, 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 it hopefully is, is um, the, the, the child of, uh, of the 1950s. This is, this is in the great American world of cinema, this is a classic American tale about uh, uh, men uh, uh, and women uh, doing things that, 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 that scare them. Uh, and uh, this film is about uh, the will to to, to conquer that fear and reminding us why that's important as people. And we all have that inside us. Uh, I think that's a very 1950s throwback classic story. Mm. Uh, before I run out of time with the two of you, I have an individual question. Uh, I'm incredibly excited for Duncan Jones' Warcraft, uh -huh. and I would love for you to tease what you can about it if you've seen any footage. And uh, for you, uh, there was a lot of talk that you were offered Green Lantern and Steve Trevor. Mm. Uh, and I'm curious if that's true or not, and what you can tease people about Wonder Woman. Mm. Um, I play Wonder Woman in Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking hot. <laughs> Right? That's amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited. Looks great in a leather boot. <laughs> Who'd have thought that? Yeah. Can't say much, but uh, I can't say much. But um, I always feel like I'm saying the same thing uh, when you guys ask questions. It's going to be a great film. Gal Gadot's in, insanely talented and beautiful. Patty Jenkins is doing a great job. Uh, Can I just ask you, were you offered Green Lantern? No. That's definitely... No. I was not offered Green Lantern I'd ever. I've never had a conversation about Green Lantern. I'm Green Lantern in Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I really mean this. I gotta go. But congratulations on this movie. It's really well done. Oh, it thank really you is. so much. Pleasure. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.